welcome back to Baton Rouge Exposed. Today I'm visiting with Liz of Elizabethan Gallery located on Jefferson right near government. Liz, first of all, thank you so much for having me in your beautiful gallery. Well, you're very welcome. So, how long have you been in the design and framing business? This July will be 34 years in the business. So what would you say is the overall design aesthetic of your whole gallery? Eclectic, uh, versatile. The mission of the Elizabethan Gallery has been to carry a little bit for everybody so that when you come in looking for a piece of art, if I carried all contemporary art and I didn't have any, you would turn around and leave. So we have contemporary, we have impressionistic, we have traditional collage, a little bit of everything. Something for every taste. Absolutely. Now Liz, how important do you think the presence of artwork in one's home is? Oh, I think it is absolutely the final touch. <laughs> uh, people worry about ashtrays, they worry about little vases and, and items like that, but when, a, when you or your friends walk into your home, the first thing they do is scan the room and the first thing that's going to catch your eye, I believe, is a piece of really nice artwork. Liz, besides art and framing, what else do you offer? What else do you carry? We have sculpture, stained glass. We have a lot of accessories that are handmade that we carry here in the gallery. And what about local artists? And if so, how many do you feature here in your gallery? We have over 30 featured artists as well as a lot of national, nationally known artists. Each little section belongs to a certain artist. That way, if you are collecting, you can see a wide range exactly. of the artist talent. Exactly. We uh, carry Bally, it's Danny Shobe. Danny is known for her beautiful fish paintings, her koi paintings. We have Felicia Hunt that does beautiful renditions of black women in loving, caring settings. One of our uh, very good local artists is Carol Halleck, and she does um, scenes from around Tangipaho, Tickfaw, South Louisiana, very uh, impressionistic, calming scenes uh, that, that people really, really are drawn to. One of our cute artists is Keith Cartoon Man Davis, and oh, he does these exactly. really, really <laughs> cute uh, paintings of flamingos and dogs and birds and in uh, people-like settings that uh, that people buy by the dozens. I, usually people buy two and three at a time. We also have a uh, beautiful work by Janice Evans. She has done a wonderful series of Venice paintings with very vibrant electric blue colors. Her water detail is just fabulous. We have Kay Lusk and Kay is one of my newer artists but has really really taken off. Kay loves color and if you like color and you like a uh, strong, bold look, uh, you will love Kay's work. And you can take a painting home overnight on approval to see if it fits in that spot. And I always tell people to take the painting and walk it around their house to find more than one spot yeah. to hang that painting. You don't want it to just be married in one spot because what happens over the years, you forget you have that painting. You forget. Uh, you need to move it around. Yeah. Find it other spaces that it can locate itself into. Let it see your house a little bit. Exactly. Explore different spots. Good idea. Right. 